I set my alarm for 2.30 to get up, kind of finished packing the night before so that I could sleep in as long as possible. Got to the locker room and we collected all the things and then we got onto the bus. I don't exactly remember if I fell asleep or not. I think I might have. Uh, trip was super, super fast. Got to the airport. This is, um, I don't know how many hours, but I'm not going to sleep yet. <laughs> expecting I was expecting more like you get there and there's like sausage and grits and cheese like just laid out for you <laughs> until we got to the IHOP and I saw a man with a rat tail <laughs> and cargo camo shorts below the knee <laughs> and um holes in his shirt and i was like yeah we made it great we are out here now <laughs> and let me tell y'all it looks like what it looks like in the movie. <laughs> we were at the ihop and they ran out of chocolate milk <laughs> and i was like if there was one state on the map to not have chocolate milk it would be alabama <laughs> <laughs> they did have grits though. <laughs> I love IHOP hash browns. I would die for them. So I was very happy to be there. This is about to be so crazy. I'm so excited. And then we went to practice. Hi, -o. I'm recording on your camera. I hope you don't mind. There's CD. Hello. And we're going to get in the van. You know who it is. Your girl. Okay, sit, sit, coach, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Same spot you were. Oh gosh. She started doing like on her legs and Moose. Alpaca. Oh, oh there's Moose. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Oh, um, so I wanted to be back here. Uh, does anybody need ice? Like your, uh, take your phone, you're This sure is a county road. This is unreal. This is the defensive house. Ours is, the attack one is nicer, believe it or not. Oh. See, the lions are gonna keep us safe, Al. Oh. Then we got back to the houses and got all settled in, figure out who was rooming with who. I explored the place. It was it was it was interesting for sure. So we got to the lake houses. It was really beautiful. It reminded me of of northern states, Pennsylvania, upstate New York with lakes, Michigan. The houses were they were both really nice. The defense house was probably more homey and like just more warm, I'd say, and the attack house was more like modern and the lake was beautiful i got up early every morning so that i could sit out there and just look at the lake 
and drink a cup of coffee. Super peaceful. Is that our dock down there? So oh my gosh, oh, it is. We should so go jump in. My roommates were my typical roommates that I live with back here at home, so it wasn't that much of a switch up because I'm used to living with them. How much did you love sharing a bed? Um, not that much. I like my bed alone normally. Erin told me not to touch her, so <laughs> I did it. Yep, I don't like to be touched. I like staying in the like houses. I had a really comfortable bed. Got to be in the master bedroom. That was a score. Um, <laughs> How did you manage that? Um, I'm friends with the captain, Ginger Stein, senior captain, defender, so that worked out really great for me. So the houses were split up between the defense team um, and the offensive team, the attackers, and the middies kind of just got split in half. And then Coach Richmond, was, our head coach, was in with the attack house, and then Coach T, the defensive coach, was with us defenders. Uh, Turn it up. <laughs> I think our team has always been really close, but since living together for four days, everyone is now super, super close, especially when you're up at night together laughing and telling stories. You really find stuff out about people that you didn't know before. Treat me like a stranger and I feel so wrong. That though. This is honestly my entertainment for the year. I feel like like us in the defensive house got a lot closer because we were always together. It's got to know the freshmen a little bit better. Watched movies, danced, sang, ate a lot. <laughs> Off the field, I feel like the team chemistry was amazing. We continued to develop a relationship outside of practice that really builds on top of that. We have those inside jokes, those um, those memories together that some teams don't exactly have when they don't have true friendship on their team. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this because I think you should just hit me at this point for you. I'm kind of impressed with how bad it is, but like accurate. But it's like the facial Wait, features are really weird. They're there, but just spread out. Yeah. Alright, everyone ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Work hard all week. Got a little jingle. There was a lot of country music, and if anyone knows me, I am a country music fanatic. Yeah. And it was an amazing time to have everybody listen to country music and not complaining about it for once. So I was in my element. Nice. Oh, my standout song has to be um, Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Eleanor and I had a great time dancing to that one. Um, after getting yelled at for not cleaning the dishes. Can you give me a, a memorable moment from the trip? Probably we were all doing dishes. Uh, what was that? Saturday night. It was a fun bonding moment that we don't all get to do very often. So I think it was a fun game to see everyone's personalities that you don't typically get to see.
when we got there. Our head coach and four people and they went shopping, grocery shopping, and they just got basically everything that we needed for dinner that night, which we were gonna do like a big ziti, buttered noodles, a salad, garlic bread, and chicken. Danielle has really good pasta. Danielle is a senior attack captain. Hello. Some of the people went to the grocery store and dropped off charcuterie boards and we ate it and then we had pasta that night like 30 minutes later. But we were absolutely famished. The meals were pretty good I'd say. The chicken mm, caused some people to get ill. And I almost, I think I might have gotten salmonella for a second. <laughs> I do think it was, it was fun to have each house kind of make a meal each night and I think it was a really fun idea um, to go to the grocery store, come up with something, have everybody help cook for then everyone to come over and have like a big dinner party. I think it was a great idea. It turns into a competition and who made the better meal, who's going to be doing the dishes. There's definitely underlying competition between attack and defense. They definitely recruited competitive people and when we when we verse each other like we want to win and beat them but it's all fun and it's good when posted together uh, there was some slight civil animosity of competition since the houses were split we just bought double of everything and then just split it equally and dropped half off at the defense house and then had the other half at the attack house I did like that we had groceries coming in and we had a bunch of snacks and everything to eat throughout the day. Liz is really upset that the defense house took all the Pop-Tarts. So we had all the Pop-Tarts and pudding and there was some drama about that. Mm -hmm. We ended up giving them some of the Pop-Tarts though, but not the pudding. Me and Erin ate all the pudding. I had chocolate, she had vanilla. Beside that, it was pretty good. Danielle has really good pasta. I guess she also hard boiled eggs for the attack house, which is one thing that I'm glad that we didn't do because they tended to make food for everyone, like buffet style, where we kind of just like made it ourselves, which I really liked. My morning routine was I woke up and I was like, where am I? <laughs> I slept in the kids' room, um, so I had a clown polka dot comforter. I would do my skincare and brush my teeth and get changed. Not really, I wouldn't get changed. <laughs> I in my pajamas until I needed it. <laughs> I stayed in the same outfit, um, unless it was my game uniform. I would go upstairs and I would make scrambled eggs and fruit and coffee. And usually I only have one cup of coffee, but it was just such a vibe there at the lake house and reading my book that I would have like three cups. Just chit-chatting with everyone, it was great. And I definitely adapted to the culture with my um, University of Alabama coffee mug and saying roll tide. Okay. Roll what? tide. <laughs> roll tide. Work can't wait. Where's your hat? Work can wait. Work can wait. Oh, okay. Well, cilantro. Cilantro. Irish cheers. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> cilantro. Cilantro. That's the Irish cheers. Can you please just explain what that is? Cilantro is the Irish cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up, normally I was the first one awake in my room. <laughs> and I woke up silently. Um, silently? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor slept with her face mask, so she didn't really see me, but I guess she heard me. Um, Even with my eye <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of Mallory's alone? Um, it was traumatizing to say the least, and I'm very happy that I don't live with her every day. I would wake up, go upstairs, sit, uh, grab a cup of coffee, make my eggs, have some yogurt with some granola. But all together was just sat and talked about whatever was going on that day or um, just kind of just life, which was fun. Kind of like get to see people outside of the field, which is a great experience. I was one of the last people to wake up in the morning. It's pretty typical for me. And so the kitchen was always cleared out. <laughs> you got to the kitchen and there was food? No, I had to make it. Um, you know, I like to switch it up. The first day I made a fire little omelette on some toast. Second day I had some yogurt, eggs, sausage. Um, then I had toast the next day. It just depended on how I was feeling. 
And then, um, you know, I would just reflect and think to myself a lot, <laughs> you know, about the hard times. <laughs> Luckily, Luke Combs dropped a new song called Love You Anyway, which I really was feeling in the moment. <laughs> That song was on repeat throughout the whole house, <laughs> and everyone got to hear my singing voice, so that was good. And then I ate some more, because what else are you going to do in Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew clementines were basically <laughs> chips? <laughs> it's like you get done one, and they're so good, you just go for another. I don't think you guys understand the pain. What did she do? I slept funny on it like a week ago. This is the best team I've ever been on. Are you nervous? This is the rain wrap camera. It's so tightly wrapped. I'm very excited. A little nervous. Mm -hmm. I think our performance against UAH was a rough start at first. I think that it was our first game, people had nerves, and it takes a little bit to get the flow going and gel together, which exactly happened, but the second half we came out really strong and we ended up winning by a significant amount. I thought the team had some great uh, moments. I also think that they had some awful moments. Especially in the second and third quarter, I think we definitely stepped it up more so. Offense was definitely a little iffy throughout the entire game. Ground balls was one of the big things that we struggled with. As the game went on, we got like better. The nerves went away. We started doing what we knew how to do. Instead of like playing to Huntsville's level, there definitely could have been a lot more improvements. But I think overall that was a pretty solid W. The standout moment from the trip is probably when I forgot my uniform in my bag at a locker room that we had to drive to to get to the field. So it, I had to make my coach leave pre-game warm-ups and drive me to the locker room. And that was probably the scariest two minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk to him? We talked. No, we didn't. He spoke under his breath. <laughs> And I sat there in silence. I'd say a stand-up moment would be when we were playing Delaney's Trivia and DG started singing and acting out. She is another defender. She's a senior, and she's really funny. I just want to know who I am. And I give up the world to see. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> when we cooked, we were like all singing in the kitchen with spoons as our microphones and We did yoga one day in the morning Sort of I see the room being this pose for 45 minutes Like, <laughs> oh, I start keeping nauseous Every time you exhale oh the picture I have of Erin doing her yoga, her yoga stretches to this day will forever crack me up. Why are they doing that? It's just a cookie, Erin. Um, on the hardwood floor. It wasn't very comfortable. Um, but you know, it was 45 minutes of zen, so. We were very giggly during it, so. It felt nice to stretch, um, even though the hardwood floor was like, kind of gnawing up and into breathe. my kneecap. This carpet is like sharp. I know. Oh, yeah. That was the mushroom. This carpet seems to be rubber. Oh, it was hysterical. <laughs> That was a good laugh. Um, I couldn't do it for the life of me. It was fun. It was enjoyable. It was it was a good experience. It's fun. I did a bunch of journaling when I was there, uh, sitting outside, just taking in the nature. We actually had a fishing pier or a little dock at ours, so I fished. I think here's a lot more fast-paced living, so I think it's a it was a nice calm break compared to life here. Definitely being in Alabama, it was more secluded and more easy going and everyone was just enjoying each other's company. I really enjoyed being in cold for a second. It was kind of comforting to be in a town where it's very southern. What will you miss most from the trip? Um, probably the like peace that I had, the semblance of peace that I had, but it was super nice. We don't get to get away from here that often. This is the first trip um, that Lynn, women's lacrosse, has ever taken by plane, um, so that's super cool. I really liked living with everybody. I really liked living with everybody. I liked being able to wake up and just see somebody and just have a conversation in the morning. Mm -hmm. And even here, um, I enjoy waking up and just talking to obviously you guys um, in the morning and you get up for your coffee. It's, it's nice to just sit and chat for a while. Enjoy that one. I'll miss most probably like being able to cook my own food. I really loved that. And sleeping in the king size bed it was really great. What I will miss most from the Alabama trip is definitely just the simple times. Here in Boca it's just so go 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 with school and sports and just the area around is very lively which is great and where I prefer to be but definitely being in Alabama it was more secluded and more easy going and everyone was just enjoying each other's company we didn't need Shake Shack or <laughs> you know the beach we didn't need any of that we just needed a good book a good friend and good coffee Credited it to be a early season game performance. Um, in the beginning of the year, a lot of getting the kinks out and figuring out what works. So as a new team, I think there's a lot of things that we need to fix, and I think the team chemistry is going to keep continuing to grow 
and we're going to continue to figure out who works with who um, offensively and as a defensive unit we're going to continue to develop and work together more communication, um, learning who's going to be shifting where and making sure that we're in the proper position to be able to potentially win our championship this year. I gave baby boy my bubble. <laughs> that is really bad. I don't know, I didn't guess again. I just said we I... Lisa, your face is like you're like, fat, like trying to poop. <laughs> Sláinte.